Everyone loves a chasing line effect for their projection shows. So let's take a look at how we can create that effect in DaVinci Resolve using the Fusion page. Here we are in Fusion and you can see I already have my house masked out. The nice thing about chasing lines is that they do not have to fit within a mask. We can lay them right on top of everything else. So let's start by adding a merge node onto the nodes pane. This will connect our chasing line to our masking sets. Then we need to bring in a background node, but we don't want to connect those just yet. And finally we need to bring in a polygon mask node. Before we begin, let's remove the keyframe from the polygon mask. This way, if we make an adjustment to our mask, it will not animate it automatically. Now let's draw out our lines with the polygon mask. For this, let's go across the entire length of the house starting from left to right. Add as many points as you need to accomplish this. Don't connect the last point with the first point when doing this. Just leave this open for now, then make any adjustments that you need to make this look correct. We can now attach the polygon mask to the background node, then connect the background node to the merge node, although it initially appears that nothing happened. To make this visible, open up the inspector located at the top right hand side. Locate the border width property, and then increase that to your desired width. Now the line is visible, but to make this a chasing line, we have to reduce the length of it using the length property. Reduce that using the slider until you reach your desired length. Before we animate this line, let's decorate it a bit. Start by changing the color of the background node to whatever you desire. Neon colors tend to look the best. You could also change the background color to a gradient and then add multiple colors. This way the line will change colors as it passes across the house. Add and adjust as many points on the gradient line as you need. We can also add a soft glow node by selecting the background node, then on your keyboard hold down the control key and hit spacebar. This brings up a search box. Type in soft glow in the search and then you can either hit enter on your keyboard or click on add. The soft glow is now added to the nodes pane and connected between the background node and the merge node. Make any adjustments to the soft glow node that you want by moving the various sliders back and forth until you get the look you are hoping to achieve. Now that our line is set, we are ready to add some animation to it. Make sure you start at frame 0 on the timeline to begin the animation. Then back in the inspector we need to move the position property to start at a negative value. Start at negative point 1 and then continue to bring that value lower until the line just barely disappears. Using your mouse, if you click and hold in the value box, you can drag your mouse and bring down the values in smaller increments compared to using the slider. Once the line completely disappears, add a keyframe to the position property. Let's move ahead now in our timeline. I'm going to move forward to frame 90, which would be 3 seconds later. Then back in the inspector, let's change the position value to 1.1. Adjust if needed until the line and any glow effects are completely gone. Again we want to find the point where the line just barely disappears. Here that value turns out to be 1.001. We can repeat this animation by returning to frame 0, then selecting and copying the position value. Then move to frame 91 and paste in the value we just copied. We'll move forward again to frame 180 and change the position value to 1.001. All you would have to do now is repeat your animation pattern until the end of the timeline. Another animation technique you can do is to bounce it back when it reaches the end of the house. To set that up, instead of copying the position value from frame 0 onto frame 91, you would skip ahead to frame 180 and paste that original starting position here.
Then move forward to frame 270 and change the position value to 1.001. Again, repeat this animation pattern until the end of the timeline. There are quite a few more tricks we could do with chasing lines, but this should get you started. At the end of this video will be a link to part 2 of this chasing lines tutorial, so be sure to watch that for a few more advanced tricks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, take care of yourselves.